Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing an Aries reading for March. It's just going to be for love predictions, okay? So thank you guys for always supporting me. Please continue to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hit the bell so you could get notifications on when I post my videos. Please comment because commenting is what gets my videos circulating, all right? So I actually already started a video for you guys and I got interrupted, so I'm curious to see if I'll get similar messages. But we're going to go into the person you're dealing with, whether it's someone from the past or someone new, and see what their head, heart, and physical space is currently, okay? So let's see what we got going on for you guys, Aries, and your person. Hey, well, um... Ace of Wands is their headspace, okay? So they're thinking about um, creative endeavors. They could be having sexual thoughts, um, thoughts about creation in general, um, artistic endeavors that they want to do, but they're feeling very passionate and they're feeling very creative in their headspace, okay? So we're going to get some more messages and see what that's all about. It could be, um, you know, springtime and it's like all these... Um, new energies are emerging for them and um, they're ready to start something new, start a new creative project, um, sexually, you know, exploratory. Let's see what we got going on here. Spirit of stone, frozen, delayed longing. Okay, so they're definitely longing for you physically. Spirit of the clover, luck, abundance, summer. So I feel like they're very... Um, they're very like drawn to your energy right now, okay? Um, in their head, they're thinking a lot about how can they make this happen? How can they manifest this? Um, how could they get lucky, okay? In March, literally, with this Ace of Wands and then the Lucky Charms and it being St. Patty's Day that we celebrate here in the U.S. But um, I feel like this longing, this um, your dynamic has been frozen in time for a long time, okay? And I feel like they're ready to um, get it going. They're ready to... Um, initiate something here in their head. They're preparing for that, okay? <clears throat> the intangible, indeterminate, force, formless, unknowable. So I feel two things with this. I feel like they feel like you're, they're never going to be able to have this um, moment with you. They feel like it's uh, like not possible, but I also feel like this is like believing in the impossible. It's kind of like something that's going to happen that they really actually do believe could happen that is very out of the realm of what it seems like a possibility, but it's still what they're really desiring, okay? So in the heart space, we have the hangman reverse. So I feel like they're a little resistant to change. They're a little resistant to doing the things necessary in order to make this happen. You could be dealing with a Pisces here, okay? Um, but they, um, they're not letting go of control here. They still want to control the situation. And I feel like that's what they need to let go of is purge this. Okay. So I feel like there's some control issues. Their heart is like still kind of like ego driven. Okay. So their heart actually is a little bit blocked because when ego is there, it's like love can't get in, but, um, they want to have victory. They want to have this. I feel like they want to have control over this still. Okay. But um, that's something they're going to have to let go of because now we also have in their um, physical space is some deception here. So it could be either them deceiving themselves, them deceiving someone in their environment, or them deceiving you. So that could be something to look out for too. But let's see what that's about. Clarity, okay, so there could have been some confusion, some deception in the past that things are going to become clear in their physical space, both for you and for them. I feel like um, the uh, air is going to clear of like deception of the past. Honesty, wow, okay, that's what I'm saying, exactly. So um, there's going to be a lot of resolution to deception in the past here, and I feel like it's going to be with you, okay? I love that honesty is with Seven of Swords, so I feel like this, whatever shady behavior there is, no one's going to get away with it, and if they already did, it's going to come to the surface, okay? Cool, all right, so let's go into your energy and see where you guys are at, all right? <clears throat> okay, so Aries, where are you guys at? Okay. 
Okay, in your head space, we have four of cups reversed. So you guys could have been kind of like oblivious or rejecting or rejected, but I feel like you're coming out of this and you're going to a better space. I like to see four of cups reversed. To me, it's better than four of cups upright. So you're coming out of your own confusion, out of your own like one track minded. You're also starting to see the forest through the trees, okay? Spirit of the anchor, invest solid, stable. You're getting more stability. You're getting more clarity yourself. Um, you're starting to feel better about yourself. You're not so like forlorn here. You're starting to invest in things and manifest and focus on the things that you really want and like grow from here, okay? So your mind's in a pretty positive place, guys. I just want to pull one from Signs from Spirit and get a message here. So just keep focusing. If you find yourself drifting mentally to negative things, focus on what you want, not what didn't work out. Pink, love, care, and compassion. Always bring yourself back to love and out of that fear, low vibrational state, okay? That's really cool. So your heart is Aries, Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is what I actually got upright for them in the original reading I was doing. So you might feel like you missed an opportunity. You might feel disappointed. You might feel like you can't quite get it. You're trying to get your mind right, but in your heart, you're still feeling kind of disappointed, kind of like you missed your chance, okay? But um, wow, on big dreams, all right? There was something that you really wanted that um, you feel like you kind of missed out on, but I also feel like this is still like you're still dreaming big. You're still, you still have hope for what it is, okay? So um, and there's still hope in this situation. Oh my God, you guys, you both got the hangman reversed, in your heart space. So you guys are mirroring each other. You guys are definitely on this journey together. Um, could be a very well a Pisces that you're dealing with. You guys both are resistant to let go though, okay? Um, wow, you guys both have each other in each other's heart space. That's crazy. Same heart. You're sharing two hearts beat as one, okay? Fear, I said that. So um, I don't know if I'll ever find someone to replace you, but I'm also afraid of missing out on my youth. There's like this fear of settling, but fear of also losing out, okay? Wow. All right, so where are you at in your physical space? The full reverse. You're afraid of taking a chance. You're afraid of starting new. You're afraid that, um, you know, of taking that leap of faith, all right? Let's see what this could be dealing... That's you guys as well. That's Aries. So um, seven of wands reverse. You're still guarded. And the star reverse, you feel kind of hopeless. All right. Aquarius energy here. The star, you just feel like it's so out of reach what you want, but it's not as far as you think it is. Okay. That's the message I'm getting. What you want is actually not far at all. This person is aligned directly with you and you guys actually both want the same thing, healing and togetherness and to connect sacred silence so maybe you guys need some time to get your mind right to clear your mind to get out of this fear space and raise your vibration okay all right let's get one message from them what they'd want to say if they could communicate to you i miss the feel of you next to me so I feel like it's as simple as that. It's like they just miss your presence. I feel like you guys are in separation. I feel like this separation has like been really hard on both of you, but I feel like you're both getting clear about the fact that you wanted this chance together and you feel like you missed it and you're still dreaming of connecting with this person, but I feel like they're still missing you. And I feel like eventually they are going to invest and you're going to invest and you guys are going to come out of the space where you were rejected or they were rejected and you're going to see that you both actually all along wanted the same thing okay so thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys next time bye